everyone, welcome to Center of Balance. I'm Sinan Pua from Center of Balance, the acupuncturist and Chinese medicine herbalist. Hey, um, my camera today, uh, I got um, two camera in front of me and this is for um, YouTube and uh, my acupuncture uh, teaching on YouTube and as well as my clinic Facebook. And I have another um, camera over here for another YouTube and my clinic one. Okay. Um, if you here, uh, please uh, give us, give me a, a thumbs up and say hi to me. And, and I hope you enjoy this um, live today. Uh, what is our topic today? So we, I'm going to talk about uh, causes of female infertility. So one of, of our focus in our clinic uh, for the last 16 years, uh, well, we treat a lot of um, infertility cases, uh, helping uh, female infertility cases and uh, male infertility cases uh, to help them um, conceive naturally or, or to help them um, increase the uh, um, fertility chance to get pregnant um, through IVF. So, uh, and people come to our clinic and we, we want to figure out what's going on and what causes uh, the infertility, right? So we, I've talked about uh, male infertility last week. And today I'm going to talk about female infertility causes. So female infertility can be caused by a variety of factors that affect or interfere with the follow, follow, um, following uh, biological process. Uh, mainly we categorize into three, okay? Number one is ovulation. Ovulation, um, when the mature egg is released from the ovary, that call ovulation. So basically, we, uh, we have a way to figure out whether uh, you ovulation properly or not. So what is the way for us to figure it out, right? Now, doing some tests, blood tests, hormone taste to look at the position and, and oxygen uh, to look at the level whether they're normal or not. This one way, but another way we call BBT chart. BBT is visual body temperature that require you um, to take your temperature every morning, first thing in the morning. Like as soon as you, you open your eyes, and you put a thermometer under your tongue, then for a few minutes, up to five minutes, then you take the reading, put it all together, and then we can see the temperature change every day, then we will determine whether you ovulation or not. So there's one way, okay? And second one is fertilization, which, occurs when sperm meets the, the egg in the fallopian tube after traveling through the cervix and uterus. So this part is important too. And in Chinese medicine and acupuncture, we will help you get more blood flow and more relaxed for your body so for fertilization, when eggs and um, sperm meet together and they can become embryo, right? They become embryo and the embryo, what's the embryo gonna do? They're going to implant. So the next one is called implantation. So before we go into implantation, let's talk about more about Fertilization. 
So to get fertilization properly, of course, for female, you need more blood circulation. So one of the factors in here is we do blood tests. We suggest you do blood tests to test what? We know the blood, resource of the blood is iron and B12. So we need to make sure that you have good enough B12 and iron. And in iron, we test two things. One thing is the iron itself. The other thing we call it um, ferritin. Ferritin is a protein that actually showing that whether you have the ability to store iron. So those two tests are important. Now, a lot of people didn't realize that. And that is something that we suggest all our infertility patients to get tested for. Female, I mean. Now, uh, of course, we can talk about more about uh, the, the egg quality, right? To make sure the fertilization is uh, it, it meet, when it meets the sperm, it can become embryo, then we need to make sure the quality of the egg, right? And that is more we need to talk about, about the diet, about the, uh, you have enough blood or not, and whether you, you're making the eggs uh, 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 poppy or not, whether the eggs can release or not, we we'll talk about that before ovulation, 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 right? So there are more to talk about, but today we're not gonna go deep. But my other video, I'm gonna talk about all this uh, little part, like make it into like ovulation is a, a, a topic and fertilization is a topic and, and plantation. And let's go into implantation. So implantation, now we talk about fertilization, right? Eggs and sperm meet together, become embryo, and those embryo need to implant properly in your uterus. So implantation, that is the next one which occur when a fertilized egg attaches to the lining of the uterus where it can then grow and develop into a baby. So the fertilization, the important thing in here is the lining of the uterus for female. Now, the lining, basically the blood. Now we talk about the iron B12, right? The reason we want to make sure of that is because we want you to get enough lining. So the lining should be um, eight or nine, eight to nine mm thick, right? That to be able to hold a baby. It keep growing, it could growing. But when you're up to your ovulation, if you have uh, um um, IV, if you go through IVF, you normally get that. You, you get that uh, me measuring by skin, doing a skin test. And they will tell you that, oh, yeah, you got good enough and very thick, thick enough lining. Let's get the embryo transfer, right? So uh, that is an IVF. And back in China, we, um, our, our master, um, when we see, um, when we saw um, infertility patient, and we actually get our patient before they come for uh, taking the pole, seeing the tongue, and get the prescription or acupuncture, uh, leaning to the um, ovulation. So we get our patient and actually get some skin to look at the lining and see how thick the lining. So that help us to prescribe the herbs with this patient we need to do some herbs for them to uh, help release the eggs, or we actually can prepare to, uh, we need to build some more blood for it to build up the lining because the lining is not thick enough. So back in, in New Zealand, in, in my practice, we don't have, as my practice, I can't get you to get a, a test for skin for lining. If you want to get a naturally birth, 
So therefore we use other tests. The test that we do is look at your period, the bleeding. So now we know the lining. When, when you're not pregnant, or ovulation time, if you're not pregnant, and the lining keep growing, growing, growing. And then when you reach 28 days, the lining fall. When it fall, it become black again. Fresh bleeding. That's how you get your menstruation. Now, in this case, when you get your menstruation, we find out for your menstruation situations, like the information from there is, you should get five days, four or five days bleeding, and every day you should change about four pads, and that's normal, right? But when you change about four pads every day or maybe four pads, then we know you have good enough blood. Then we know you have good enough lining. That makes sense? Yeah. If you have only one or two pads or it's just very light flow of bleeding, then we know you haven't got enough lining. The lining is less. So in our treatment, it actually lead to when it lead to our treatment, we actually want to build blood for you, right? This is so this three things it help us like ovulation, fertilization, implantation. We figure out what's going on. And then in acupuncture in Chinese herbs, we're able to give you the proper treatment, you know, a diagnosis first and then treatment. So we help, we get all the information from you, BBT chart, uh, um, uh, checking your uh, period and to look at what's going, how, how many blood do you have every day, blood flow, heavy, light, or, or just medium, or, or things like this. All right. I hope that makes sense to you. Now, uh, those are the three things, okay? Ovulation, fertilization, implantation, those three causes of female infertility. Now next, let's move to uh, the risk factor. So the risk, uh, the, the risk factors for female infertility include increasing age. While as we age, we know the age quality job, you know? So increasing age is not funny at all. It's not good at all. Uh, we know that. So you want to get pregnant, uh, get it. Uh, you want to have a baby. You, um, I, I do uh, suggest you um, uh, uh, try earlier, have it earlier. Uh, uh, when you hit to 40 and chance much less, uh, over 35, much less and 40 even less. Okay, so if you need, if your age is coming to 40, please, you, apart from going to your doctor, do see a Chinese practitioner, you know, acupuncture and Chinese herbs may help you increase the chance of pregnancy. Smoking cigarettes, uh, we talk about this, Last time when we talk about the risk factor for uh, male infertility, uh, smoking cigarettes, uh, it's come to the, um, we know when we're uh, smoking, right? When you're smoking and it going through your lung over here, that's your lung, right? So what's the lung function? The toxin of the cigarette, it will go into your lung, go into your blood to breathe in, right? The lung that we use, uh, the main function of the lung in here is we breathe in oxygen. And this oxygen are important because the oxygen go into the blood, right? Then your blood carry the oxygens go to your entire body to nourish your body. And again, in here, we need blood, we need oxygen go and narrows to make eggs, 
to make sure that when you can get a proper ovulation and fertilization, because the embryo need blood, need oxygen. You know, when an implant, we talk implantation, we talk about that the lining is built from blood. So the blood, the oxygen inside, it's the nutrients that the embryo need, the baby need. So smoking, think about smoking. You get the toxin from cigarettes go into your blood instead of more oxygen. When you get toxin into your lung, you get less oxygen. You get more toxin from the cigarettes into your blood. So that is very unhealthy. That is why we suggest when female come to a clinic for infertility, if they are smoking, we say, hey, please, if you want a healthy baby, if you want to get pregnant, please stop smoking. That is very important. I know you may tell me I have a lot of friends, they're smoking and they have baby. I know, I know, I tell you, I see a lot of them, right? So, but again, there's a lot of research that talk about cigarettes. It's not good for baby, it harms the baby and not good for uh, um, uh, uh, infertility. So I hope when you look at this video, when I share with you, you take the action and stop smoking. Thank you. And the next one, heavy use of alcohol. Again, alcohol, you start to know alcohol, you want a healthy baby, we all know it, you know, alcohol is not good, alcohol is not good. So please stop smoking as well as alcohol when you prepare for uh, pregnancy, conceive. Um, being overweight, obese, or significantly underweight. So yes, overweight is very unhealthy. Uh, it actually, uh, one of the um, main thing that in here, uh, one of the causes uh, for uh, female fertility, we call PCOS. Uh, polycystic ovary symptoms, and one of the symptoms is overweight. Overweight. Uh, overweight, uh, there are a lot of health issues that can, can cause from overweight. So, manage your weight is a very good idea when it comes to uh, fertility treatment. Now, underweight is not good either because uh, underweight uh, actually indicate that the blood is very. Uh, uh, you don't have enough uh, nutrients. Uh, we've seen people, uh, athletic, uh, they train a lot. Um, they very look like very healthy, good muscle and everything, you know. But the one thing is they haven't got enough blood. How do we know that? Look at the period. So if you have just one or two, day, two days of bleeding, that means you haven't got enough blood. Well, in this case, maybe you're underweight, maybe you're overweight. When you're overweight, you haven't got enough blood because your blood go into grow other things, other things using the blood a lot, but it doesn't as you keep going to your uterus. So that that kind of not enough blood and underweight enough, not enough blood, not enough bleeding, you know, it's a bit different. We treat it a bit different. Okay. So uh, do come to see us because we'll be able to help you to figure out what's going on and we can suggest you what can help you, you know, which way can you uh, and your diet that you can build up your uh, lining and build up your blood system. Okay, having certain uh, uh, sexually uh, transmitted infection, which we call STIs. Uh, that is the infection and that can damage the uh, reproductive system. Uh, if you get, um, uh, let's say, well, the, the, the simple one is uh, UTI. Uh, UTI, uh, a lot of people get UTI. And, and if you, you know, get it very often, like each time you have your period, you get UTI. 
and that's very unhealthy. I have patients get UTI every month and not until you fix the UTI, you know, uh, we, our focus is fix the UTI. When you have got a UTI, which means you every month you don't have the symptom, that's good. Because it can prevent you get pregnant, a symptom of the UTI. So what are the symptoms? Normal symptom is you have an unusual discharge. The discharge could be, um, I mean, uh, the UTI is different when you, um, uh, you, you pass urine, you get a burning sensation, uh, you get some blood in there, that means that you have infection, right? But other, other uh, infection that is not, um, uh, is, is a bit different with U UTI. Uh, UTI is an uh, infection in the bladder or kidney, right? Uh, the vagina, vagina itchiness or rashes, rashes are unusual discharge or pain that's from the vagina. And uh, that could be uh, an issue that if, if it keeps happening, that can prevent you uh, uh, conceive. So that is very, very important too. So do uh, get it treated and do, um, do go and see your doctor and fix the uh, infection first if you want to get pregnant. Or come to Chinese medicine, come to us, or acupuncture, because uh, we use Chinese herb. Uh, we better help you to um, sort out your infection first uh, before uh, if you want to get pregnant. All right. Uh, I think that's it for today. Uh, I hope uh, the information that I'll, I just talked about on the above uh, and help you to understand uh, the causes of infertility, uh, female infertility, and the risk factors as well. So next time we're going to talk about, uh, we still talk about um, fertility. I'm in charge of the fertility part uh, this time. And Kevin will in charge of pain conditions. Um, if, you, uh, uh, if you need any treatment or any advice, please give us a call. And our phone number is down there. Uh, you can call us 0800-221-224. Uh, uh, we have clinic in uh, Rimmerera, Auckland, and clinic in Dunsdale, Hamilton. We will help you. And uh, no matter where you are, uh, we can suggest you to get a local acupuncturist to help you. Um, also, we'll be able to do online um, consultation uh, to help you prescribe herbs to you. So no, no matter where you are, we will just help you um, with Chinese herbs. Probably not acupuncture, but we can do acupuncture point, right? But stay awesome, and I'll see you next time. If you're an acupuncturist and you want to join our uh, online training, uh, we'll be able to help you with online training um, so you can start treat, uh, you, you understand how to treat um, and learn how to treat infertility, right? And drop your messages down there. Right? See, see you next time. Bye-bye.